The United States Air Force, in discharging its responsibility for the aerospace defense of the nation, is called upon to investigate reports of unidentified flying objects. Two Air Force officers have over the years been very closely associated with this activity. Lieutenant Colonel Lawrence Stacker was formerly the chief spokesman for the Air Force on the matter, and Major Hector Quintanella is now the chief of Project Blue Book. Major Quintanella, what are the objectives of Project Blue Book? The objectives of the program are twofold. They're the same as they have been since 1953 when the regulation was given. First of all, to try to determine if the UFO phenomena presents a threat to the security of the United States. And second, to determine if the UFO phenomena exhibits any technological advances which could be challenged to research and develop. What's the uh, record so far? Today we have over 10,000 cases at Wright Patterson Air Force Base, of which 646 of these remain unidentified. That's not to say that uh, we could not have identified more cases if we had gotten to the observer quicker and checked the local activity. The Air Force has been accused from time to time of hiding information about UFO. What do you have to say to that kind of thing? Well, these charges are absolutely untrue. Actually, the United States Air Force releases statistics on the UFO phenomena through the Department of Defense press desk periodically. And we've always honored accredited media when they want to investigate a given specific sighting. There's nothing to hide. There's nothing to hide at all. Is there anything in the files, either classified or unclassified, that would indicate that there may be extraterrestrial visitors over here? First of all, the project is completely unclassified. And there is nothing in the record which would indicate that we have been visited by any advanced civilization. How does the Air Force look upon people who uh, make reports of UFO? Do they look on them as qualified observers? Yes, they do look on them as qualified observers. Actually, most people who report a UFO sighting are patriotic citizens who have been mystified by something that they've seen. And through a patriotic sense, report it to the local law enforcement officials or to the United States Air Force Base near them. Uh, what would you consider as a person qualified to interpret what he sees? Well, I consider astronomers uh, are genuinely expert in their field. First of all, they have a tremendous advantage over the other physical scientists, and that is that they have powerful telescopes and photographic equipment to confirm their interpretation. Do astronomical laboratories make any contribution to the UFO program? In a negative way, they do, because I've never received a UFO report from an observatory. Not a one? Not a single one. Well, how about the tracking and detection facilities that the Air Force itself has? How does this fit the program? Well, actually, uh, to begin with, the United States Air Force is charged by an act of Congress with the Air Defense of the United States. And the North American Air Defense Command and the Air Defense Command have space tracking facilities which are constantly on the alert 24 hours a day. We're interested in anything that flies in our atmosphere. Well, how about UFO reports in other countries? How are they handled? Well, UFOs actually occur worldwide. However, the United States is the only country in the world that uh, places as much emphasis on the phenomenon. Uh, other countries place a burden of proof on the observer and not on their Air Force. And that would make your job a lot easier if they did that here. Yes, it would. Thank you, Colonel Tucker, Major Quintanella. I would like to close by reading a very brief excerpt from the report of the Air Force's Scientific Advisory Board, which they made recently upon completing a detailed review of the subject of UFO. This is a statement. The committee concluded that in the 19 years since the first UFO was sighted, there has been no evidence that unidentified flying objects are a threat to our national security. <laughs>